Yup, this is Windows 10 version 21H2 transformed into Windows Vista, and we're gonna take a look at what's changed within this mod compared to Windows Vista. And unlike the previous version that I showcased earlier, this is more polished while still in beta stage. Looking at the setup, this is still Windows 10. Perhaps in the future, we will see a change on this to look as close as possible to Windows Vista's version, but who knows. Rebooting the OS, yeah, it is still displaying Windows 10s. But I think this can't be changed easily if you are running the OS using legacy BIOS mode. Perhaps if I'm using UFI mode, the boot screen will change? I don't know. And the login screen, yeah, is just a blank blue background. Wait, 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 wait. Now, the resemblance to Windows Vista starts to strike me up. After waiting for a couple of minutes, now we can see that there are changes that have been made to the OS. The desktop looks Vista-ish. The icon also looks Vista-ish. The sidebar also looks Vista-ish, although when you put it with Windows Vista's version side by side, the RSS feed's position is different with this mod on the top and Vista's on the bottom. Looking at the taskbar, it looks like Windows Vista at the first glance, but by hovering over the time, sound, and network icon, it doesn't display the detail flyout like what we expect from Windows Vista. And by moving to the start menu, it is a one-to-one -one replica for layout and functionality, but there is no frequently used app list in this mod. Alright, next, Windows Explorer. The look of the app is just, well, resembling Windows Vista, even though there are slightly different positionings and icon usage. As we can see, the views option is at the right, unlike Windows Vista, which is on the left. When clicking the Organize button, almost every option in the menu has an icon, rather than in Windows Vista that only got CCP, no, not that CCP, but this CCP, cut copy paste layout and delete to have an icon. And also, in this mod, it lacks the new folder option, but hey, we got a functional command bar, great! One of thing that I did when I triggered the search MS on this mod, the layout is quite strange than what it was supposed to be in Windows Vista, but I can get away with it since this page is an artifact that goes all the way through Windows 11, can you believe that? Anyway, moving to the window layout, this mod is utilizing error as far as I see, but what you probably don't know is that in this mod, the window's caption box is slightly larger, yeah, by mere pixels larger than in Windows Vista. I know, I ain't Sherlock, but that's just what I observed earlier. And one other thing that is, well, whenever a window is maximized, the glass reflection on the title bar looks slightly brighter than in Windows Vista. Moving along, the control panel. This is carefully reorganized to look as close as possible to Windows Vista. But again, remember that this mod is in beta. There are still imperfect things in here. System and maintenance are missing? The bullet point at the task pane is black rather than white. Dang, don't take this out of context. And in the classic view, it still uses tile view, not large icons. Apart from those, yeah, this is quite an accurate reorganization of the control panel. One visible difference of Windows Vista from other versions of Windows is that when you right click the desktop and click personalize, you'll be greeted with the personalization applet, which will give you several types of customization that you can do. Well, in this mod, you can access two. Looking at each option, color and appearance seems to not change the error window color, but instead it changes the color accent within Windows 10. Well, I mean, it's not wrong, but <laughs> it's wrong at the same time too. Well, don't know. Desktop backgrounds have Windows Vista wallpapers, although it's not categorized like in Windows Vista. Screen savers are also available and sound scheme too, which is fortunately enabled by default. Amazing! Next, sidebar. Although from the surface it's perfect, but when you try to add a new gadget via the available button, well, the interface is still unfinished. 
Well, how can I know this? Well, you can too. Just look at those texts. Still alias, still using MSN Serif, but if you ignore those little quirks, well, you can normally add new gadgets, like what you are doing. Oh yeah, system applications within this mod has been modified or changed to the Vista variant. This includes, but it's not limited to, Calculator, Notepad, Wordpad, Paint, and Task Manager. Games, which I don't know if this will be the case for the final release too, but in the star menu, they aren't listed. Only Games Explorer will be listed there. Well, of course, you will get the list of Vista games with an accurate interface as I think. But still, I hope this can be fixed for the future release. But hey, because of how the Games Explorer is actually no longer exists anymore after version 18.03, and somehow the team is able to get it back to 21H2, well, point taken. Other system applications from Windows Vista are also available. Movie Maker is one of them, but I can't import any pictures into the program. Weird. We got Windows Media Player 11, Windows Calendar, Windows Contacts, Windows Mail, and Photo Gallery. But wait, Camille Prom's font has been changed to the raster font like what Windows Vista and earlier uses. Incredible! Last but not least, Sample Media is here. One thing that piqued my interest is this. The Vista Alt tab, well, damn, I wish I can have that in my Windows 11. But I have to heavily modify system files and configurations, which will require time and patience, and it will potentially disappear whenever there is a new update. As you might know before, this mod is based on Windows 10, specifically version 21H2. This can be known by looking at the command prompt, system information, and WinArrow Tweaker. Although in WinVer, it will say that you are running Windows Vista. Nice try! <laughs> and with that, you will still get some of Windows 10's features such as Task View and Windows 10 Settings. I have no idea why the title bar only has the close button for some reason. You can install Mozilla Firefox version 115 ESR as offered on the desktop. Well, I think this is more of a beta artifact, but hey, if this is still offered within the final release, let alone pre-installed with IE17, I'll be very thankful for that one. With this creation made by Neptune and the team, this mod is in work for months to polish the mod, but bugs and quirks are still inevitable, which I hope they can fix it in the future. Internet Explorer is still using version 11 like in Windows 10 and 11, the maximize and minimize animation is still using Windows 10s, and some programs are still missing or not yet added like Windows Media Center, DVD Maker, and help and support. And at the taskbar, there is no thumbnail preview. But no worries because this mod will still be in works until every detail within Windows 10 can be replaced with Windows Vista as close as possible. All in all, this is a very great mod that I can definitely test on my one on one of my laptops since now I have five laptops. <laughs> I can wait until the final release. Because why? Because